Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel No Networks. In this tutorial, we will see how to configure email alert setting in Sophos Central. Let's begin with the configuration. The very first thing is you have to go to global setting over here and then go into global setting. You have to find the email alert setting option under general. Over here, you will try to find the configure email alerts. Click on configure email alerts over here and you will see that it is saying that by default the administrator below receive alert emails you can choose which administrator you want to receive alerts so you by default the super admin user are receiving the email alerts and it is checked to yes then you uh, can define the frequency like and one more thing i want to add like if you have created a admin user or helpdesk user and if you want that even those users should receive the email that user will be reflected over here but by default it won't be open for them the alerts won't be received to them you have to turn on the alerts for them then comes the frequency like how much uh, alerts that need to be sent over the email so guys uh, you can set the frequency either by severity or by product or even by category if you wish to set the alerts by severity, you have three options high alert, medium alert, and info alert. So you can define that if the alert is high, how it needs to be sent, whether it needs to be sent immediately on hourly basis, daily basis, or it should be never. Definitely high alert is a bit high risk. It, uh, the high alerts come with high risk. So you will say that when, whenever there is a high alert, send an alert immediately. So that you can take a prompt action against this high alert. Whereas if it is a medium alert, you can say that I need this medium alert to be sent on daily basis. An info alert, you can say that uh, you don't need it. Like uh, the info alert will be more over like the information for you. So even this uh, kind of alert, you can see on uh, going to the login to the SOFO central dashboard. Or else if you want that, like the frequency need to be sent uh, as set by product, then you can check this option and you will define over here like cloud switch, email gateway, encryption, uh, whichever are for your use, how frequently you want the alert for this. Like for example, so it's a SOFO central. The first SOFO central, how, what is the frequency you need to send? Whether it need to be immediately early, it is all up to your requirement. The third one is that you can set the frequency by category. So under category, you will see the security, so force firewall alert, like the firewall is up or down, the system health of the endpoints, the Windows firewall status, wireless status, and so on. So guys, it's up to you, like how you need to define the frequency and how frequently you want the alert. There is a custom rule. You can set a custom email alert rule that overrides your default setting for administrator or distribution list. This is the administrator. I mean, this is the email alert which administrator will get by default. But if you want to change this, you can define a custom rule by simply creating a rule and then defining uh, a rule as per your requirement. Like let's say, for example, if you want to define a custom rule for super admin and you want to override the Default setting, you will check the super admin box, you will click on next button over here for which uh, administrator you want to create a rule. Let's say for example, I will not touch the this of the super user new networks, but I will say that I want to uh, modify this for IT support. I will click on next button over here. Then it is saying me that if you want to, I want to create a custom rule so I can define the custom rule which will override the default setting. So this is how you can define a custom rule for the email alerts. And finally, this is the there is an exception option. So the list below shows exception you have set up. Since we haven't set up any kind of exceptions for now, it is not showing us any kind of exceptions. So guys, that's all about how you will be configuring an email alert, how you will be defining a frequency, and what kind of alerts do you need, at what time you what time interval you do you need. Apart from that, how you will be creating a custom rule. This is all we have seen in this tutorial. That's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial.